Our architecture is defined by the fact that it has a strong sculptural element and initially ignores the normal hierarchies of floor, walls, ceiling, exposed beams and girders. The fundamental idea is always a kind of abstraction from the given conditions that either originate from the program or from our interpretation of the context what we consider to be special or unusual. And this exaggerating of these architectural elements is what characterizes our architecture and makes it perhaps unusual. In Seville too, we started with the roof. These are numerous mushroom-like or tree-like structures subdivided into a north-south oriented grid which cast a shadow on the ground. And at midday it looks quite orthogonal. But if you arrive later, or a little earlier, the shadows form changes in accordance with the sun's position. There is an elevated plaza where particular events take place. Nowadays it's used mostly by children, as a play area, because the inner city has few larger areas where they can meet up with friends. And right at the top there's a gastronomy area and a panorama path with a viewing terrace. In this structure at the bottom we have the archaeological excavation site. In between there is the market hall, on top of which there is a special activities area, and above that a restaurant with view over the city. But in the further development we realize that this wandering above the city can be an important experience. They can go up free of charge, tourists have to pay a small fee, but there's nothing stopping you really from going up there in the evening and looking out over the city and it has become very popular. We hope to provoke a second look, a refusal to accept things at face value, a kind of irritation that obliges the viewer to reinterpret and creates the context, in which to read the space around the buildings in a different way and to rediscover this architecture anew. Mm -hmm.